major, 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 major updates on the robot. And there's only one people that could take us there is the Tesla space. Also like their video and subscribe to them. Let's get active and get into this video. This episode, Optimus strikes back, Tesla dunks on Marquez Brownlee, the Model Y Juniper has arrived, and so has supercharging in South America. Starting with Tesla's latest robot. Ooh, supercharging in South America. Shout out to all my South Americans. El Panino, El Ebagato, Turubang, and etc. Robot update just one week after the Wii Robot event. Tesla is showing off even more of their progress with the Optimus humanoid. Now, while the Tesla bot may have largely stolen the show from the CyberCab reveal event, it also stirred up a decent amount of controversy, namely around teleoperation of the robots. Tesla made a questionable decision to have their robots out in the crowd throughout the party, interacting with guests. And this apparent robot-human interaction was pretty obviously controlled by Tesla staff behind the scenes, who were just talking through the robots, which inevitably leads us to question everything. Just how much of what we saw that night was a real autonomous robot, and how much was controlled by some dude wearing a VR headset. I think that's what Tesla is trying to address with this new video released by the official Optimus X account, which they simply titled, Navigating by Myself. So in this promo video, they specify that Optimus can navigate through unseen space autonomously, meaning that it doesn't need a pre-existing map to just walk through a space. It's a- We got stairs. We got stacking batteries, putting them on the shelf, and it's docking itself so it can charge. So that's a dunk. That's a windmill. That's obliterating those individuals who said, is this machine even capable of being amongst people? Zero accidents, zero fall downs too. So let's continue. Avoiding obstacles using neural nets that are running on the bot's own internal computer, which is also known as inference compute. Then we get this sort of bot eye view, which shows us that currently Optimus seems to be navigating from just one camera and it's using AI to map a 3D space onto the two dimensional image. Then they show us something that is pretty mind blowing this idea that there are multiple bots in one location. They can all talk to each other to create a real-time 3D map of an environment to create what Tesla calls a shared understanding of their surroundings. Service member. Now imagine that, a shared understanding of their surroundings, and that could be uploaded in, has massive, also has massive amounts of value on resale. I know that would be amazing for a lot of industrial properties and definitely for real estate, but anyway, let's continue. In addition to each bot having their own ability to see and perceive a location, they can simultaneously know everything that any other local bot is perceiving, which gets me wondering if Tesla autonomous vehicles can do the same thing. Could every Tesla in your city be constantly sharing real-time traffic and road updates with every other Tesla, essentially giving your self-driving AI the ability to see what's coming next? And then, in addition to the front navigation camera, Optimus also has a rear-facing camera that it can use to maneuver itself backwards into place on a charging dock. So here is one very key point that Tesla is trying to make. They essentially recreate the scenario from the Wii Robot event where the Tesla bot is handing people snacks and drinks. It's entirely possible that this action was teleoperated during the event, but here in the video, Tesla claims that the bot is doing all of these actions based on machine learning from a single neural net. And so also running in a real time on Optimus embedded computer chip also. This again is running in real time on the bot's inference computer. Even though the video itself isn't playing back in real time, it's obviously sped up and that's identified in the top right corner. For some additional context, Tesla's vice president of Optimus, Milan Kovac, went on X and explained the video in more detail, basically saying that because GPS doesn't work inside, the only way for a humanoid to navigate effectively is through AI computer vision, which is still the same technology that Tesla self-driving is based on, with one of the biggest new differences being non-flat terrain and stairs. Hopefully your car never encounters stairs, but a humanoid robot definitely will. Hmm. And then there's the human interaction. Kovac says that Optimus was trained to hand over snacks and drinks based on both gestures and voice requests. So maybe the robotic servers at Tesla's CyberCap event were actually running AI for their movement, just not their voice, still questionable. Have you ever- Still questionable, people don't know. Wondered how to protect your online activity. See, people don't know yet. So it's still questionable. So you still got to think about it, right? People are still assuming. They're not quite sure what's going on at this point, but net net, there is no a hey, confirmed this was operated, uh, teleoperated, even just people actually replying. We don't know for sure. We got Grok. Grok might be a little bit effective and efficient, but again, nobody knows, so it's okay. Do you think that they could solve it? That's the real main point, and I think, yes, if anybody's capable of solving it, then it would be them. A taxi event, Tesla claims that the CyberCab will not have a charging port on the vehicle at all, and instead will only charge wirelessly. The live stream didn't show us the full video of the prototype charging, but Tesla has since released it on X. 
you can see a cyber cab backing up to the charging mass reach 25 kilowatts charging power at 35 percent charge to full and then take off again we then saw marquez brownlee or mkbhd comment nope wireless see he said nope wireless charging it won't work now again this guy's a tech reviewer they review tech they don't create it but i find this pretty fascinating no, I know you're a technical company and you do a bunch of stuff like robots and cars, but you don't know what you're talking about. This charging has a massive heat waste. A really noble goal for something like this would be maybe 75% efficiency. But Tesla was quick to come back and reply, efficiency is well above 90%. Now, we have to assume that Tesla didn't just use this as an opportunity to burn one of the most popular YouTubers in the world just for clout because Tesla has the receipts to back up their claim. But as is common for Tesla, they didn't actually produce those receipts themselves, so of course, we had to find these all by ourselves. Luckily, that's what we do around here, so here it goes. In the summer of 2023, Tesla made one of its rare acquisitions as it bought out the German wireless charging startup, Wifurion. Wifurion had signed a global license agreement with wireless EV charging player Wytricity, and they even launched a pilot program in the US in late 2021. Tesla then sold the Wifurion company off again in October of the same year, but Tesla kept the Wifurion engineers, and we can imagine these guys were aqua-hired to work on this wireless charging project. Guys, this is why I said be careful of the YouTubers, right? They get a little, they get a lot of fame, they blow up, and then they're like, bro, I know everything about technology. Like, bro, you remember, you view, I, you review iPhones for the most part in video games. Like, this might be a little bit different. This is not cell phones we're talking about. Ah, uh, they acquired this company. Before you posted that, did you actually check that out? No, I didn't. I just want to talk from the hip because, you know, <laughs> I'm usually reviewing iPhones that change the bezel. Back for Tesla. By the looks of it, they delivered. On its website, Wifurion still says it has reached 93% efficiency on its wireless charging technology, and we believe, thanks to the team and intellectual property Tesla acquired, they replicated this for the CyberCat. By the way, now watch this. Now, that's one thing. Now, kind of let's go over here because I want to show you one more video of somebody possibly with some actual background saying something about just even the robots, let alone the also the cars. But it just speaks to the, uh, let's say, creativity, innovation at Tesla and handling the 4680 battery. It's so good to make NVIDIA senior research manager and lead of embodied AI gear lab Jim Fan note that Optimus hands are among the best five-finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing, 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only six to seven degrees of freedom, and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. Yes, we were wrong to under... See, so we were wrong to underestimate Tesla. And that's not coming from Tesla, right? Because, you know, Marcus would probably like to call Tesla a bunch of liars. But people at NVIDIA... Okay. Way. While reaching 25 kilowatts with wireless charging would have been amazing some years ago, it is not at all the most you can do these days. Our European correspondent Jan has been in a Jaguar I-Pace wirelessly charging at 50 kilowatts, and that was four years ago in Norway. As recently as this summer, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory researchers set a new world record by wirelessly charging a Porsche Taycan at 270 kilowatts, giving the car a 50% charge in just minutes at over 95% efficiency. What's even more interesting is that the wireless industry players say it can be the same or even more efficient than your regular DC charging. It's kind of magnificent witnessing all those breadcrumbs we've reported on coming together here. Now, see, so I think sometimes the actual overall message becomes Tesla lies all the time. Um, and people could be biased in their opinion. They have, you know, their opinions, which is OK. It's completely fine. But at the end of the day, you kind of have to sit back and say, okay, what do you do for a living? How do you know that this is not true? And also, have you done the due diligence really? Because quick research, you can find out about the acquisition of the company. Quick research, you can find of these other companies that perform efficiency rates above 90%. So, but again, the narrative is Tesla doesn't deliver, they lie. Though they're sitting around with three of the largest factories, most advanced factories in the nation, massive amounts of cars, producing batteries, producing artificial intelligence on a daily basis that has real world impacts and effects. But that's not good enough. I review iPhones and I review gadgets. I know more than everybody. All the engineers don't know anything and they're all lying because Everybody lies at Tesla. Again, proof that everyone hates Tesla. I see you guys at the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.